Yo, what up, guys? This is knowledge and self-determination. So, I just wanted to make this video real quick, man. Um, to serve as, I guess, motivation for all of the go-getters out there, for everybody who is thinking about chasing their dreams, following their dreams, and trying to and trying to be their own boss, whatever it is you're trying to do, man. I'm going to tell you this. Don't ever let another motherfucker stop you from pursuing your dreams, for achieving, from achieving your goals. Don't ever wait for other people to have the same interest in your dreams as you do, because nobody else is ever going to have the same drive to watch, to see your dreams, your, your vision come to fruition and succeed the way you do. Nobody is ever going to have that for you. And if you find people who got you 100%, and are doing things to help you achieve your goal, then more power to you. You know what I'm saying? I'm not knocking. I'm not saying that it is it it is that it is beyond belief to think that other people will help you achieve your goals. But what I'm saying is, you know, if you have a goal, if you have a dream, if you have something that you're trying to achieve, something that you're trying to accomplish, you know. And all I'm gonna say this. If you're not willing to go in alone, it might not work for you. If you're not willing to sit back and say, you know what, if I got to, I, I'm going to do this shit myself, it might not work for you. And the reason why I'm saying that is because when people don't perform or show up when you need them to or how you expect them to, you know, it, 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 it can it can kind of set you back a little bit, especially when you put a whole lot onto these individuals. You know what I'm saying? What, you know what I mean when I say put, put a whole lot onto these individuals? I mean, when, when, when you, I guess, give them more benefit of the doubt for having the same vision as you, you know? Now, I'm speaking for myself. Everybody's experiences in life are going to be different. I'm speaking for myself. You know what I'm saying? I, uh, I've had the misfortune of of uh associating with and and dealing with people who for the most part just want to be good employees, you know. What I have planned for the future, what I'm about to get off the ground is going to fucking it's going to happen. Sink sink or swim. It's going to happen with or with anybody's with or without anybody's help or assistance. It's going to happen. Look, I'm going to tell you something, man. I don't need I don't need anybody to do shit for me. You feel me? I want to get my business off the ground. The only as long as I'm making the right business contacts and this, that and the third, I don't need a partner. I don't need anybody to go in with me. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not because I'm not bullshitting when it comes to doing what it is I need to do. You know, I will get on the grind and hustle like a motherfucker to make that shit happen. Bro, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm. I'm telling you, look, it's the end of the night, man. It's it's almost one o'clock in the morning. I should be in the fucking bed, but I'm out this bitch trying to get every motherfucking dollar I can. You feel me? So I can get my fucking business off the ground. Sink, sw sink or swim, come hell or high water. It doesn't matter to me, man. And all I'm saying is that everybody else out there who has a goal, who have a vision, don't let anybody stop you. Stand in the way of or be the reason why you do not pursue your dreams or your goal or your business idea. You understand what I'm saying? If you feel like you got a good idea and you're getting feedback as though it is a good idea, man, take that shit and run with it. You only get one shot at this shit. I'm not going to come at you with a bunch of metaphysical bullshit and talk to you about shit like, like, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm some spiritual guru who has fucking unlocked the fucking mysteries of the universe. Everybody who come at you and talk to you like that is full of fucking shit. Straight up and down. You know what I'm saying? All I got in my motherfucking life is me. You feel me? All I got in the world is me. And I'm saying this kind of, uh, I guess, kind of metaphorically um, in the sense, you know, meaning that I'm the only person that I can depend on 100%. You feel me? That That's the way I, that's how I have to think and talk to myself in order for me to continue to move forward. I can't depend on other people. And you shouldn't either. You understand what I'm saying? If you got a partner who want to go in 
with you on your business and they be flaky. You can halfway get them on the phone and shit. You know what I'm saying? Or every time you're supposed to meet up or do something, they flake out on you. They come through, I'd say, five times out of 15, they come through. Feel me? That's that's about one third. One out of every three times they might come through. You know what I'm saying? But you need them to come through at least two out of three times. You feel me? All I'm saying is be ready to take up that slack. In fact, if you're already working on all of all of the aspects that you need to work on, there is no slack. This person is just an assistant at that point. You're just picking up, you know what I'm saying, and doing the extra shit that I need you to do. You know what I'm saying? Make your business, make your dream, your goal, your desire yours and fucking follow through, man, and do that shit. You feel me? Do that shit. You know, I shared my idea with other people, family members, you know what I'm saying? And, yo, that's a good idea. This and the third, you try to get a motherfucker on the phone. It's like, playing, you know what I mean? You playing Where's Waldo with motherfuckers. Look, this is the type of dude I am, man. I'm going to tell you straight up. This is the type of dude I am. I don't give a fuck who you are. Family, friend, indifferent. I don't give a fuck who you are. Yo, if I got to hit you up more than two times, I stop fucking with you. I stop. Call, I'm not. I don't call anybody more than twice. I don't text anybody more than twice. If I have to initiate contact with you, you feel me? Unless you're somebody that I really fuck with that I know will eventually come through. I may. You may be the exception. But most most people, if I got yo, if I initiate contact with you and I got to hit you up two times or more, it's a wrap. That's how I do shit. Same thing with business. Yo, if I got to keep hitting you up, I'm going to find somebody else. In fact, if you if I if I hit you up once and I don't and I don't get a reply or response in a certain amount of time, I'm already looking to better look you. You feel me? I'm already looking for somebody to replace you. I'm not going to wait until the second or third time and then start looking. Now, I mean, by the time you hit me up, I didn't moved on. That's just how I do. That's that's a model in my life. I'm not looking back. I've never been with the same chick more than once. You know what I'm saying? Meaning so far as dating, calling on my girlfriend. I don't break up and get back with motherfuckers. I don't do that. That's that that's out. I mean, I don't call motherfuckers more than twice. You feel me? Because my time is valuable. My time is money. The time I'm spending, those seconds that I'm wasting fucking calling you and hitting you up, I could be making money. I don't have time for that shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm a fucking go-getter. I get on a grind. I grinds it out. You feel me? Because I don't give a fuck what I got, what I got to suffer through. If I got to sleep on somebody fucking floor with a ratty ass motherfucking army blanket, sleeping on a stack of my clothes as a fucking pillow, I'm going to do that shit until I get the way the fuck I need to be. That's how I roll. You know what I'm saying? If I got to be a fucking caveman, I turn into a caveman until I get my paper right. And then I do what the fuck I got to do. You know? And that's all I'm saying, man. Be a go-getter because nobody else is going to go get that shit for you. You understand what I'm saying? Nobody's going to go get that shit for you. You are your only best friend. I don't give a fuck how many friends you have. You are the only thing that you can depend on more than anything else. And if you can't depend on yourself, you're screwed in this life. You are all you have. Now I'm speaking for myself. You may not feel that way. I'm all the fuck I have. I got people in my corner. Sure. I got people that I tell everything to. Sure, yeah. But when it comes to depending on people, I depend on myself. I depend on myself. I rely on myself. I don't look for anybody to do shit for me that I cannot do for myself. You understand what I'm saying? And if I fall on hard times, the last thing I want is anybody's fucking pity. That's the last thing I ever want in this world is to be pity. So I'm going to leave it at that, man. I would just, you know what I'm saying? And I'm and again, I'm making this video at like fucking one something in the fucking morning because I'm, I'm about to go smoke a blunt too. You feel me? But I'm making this video because this is what's on my mind. You feel me? And these are, these are experiences that I have had recently or at least in contemporary times, meaning the last year or so. So to everybody out there, man, if you if you if if you have something that you want to pursue, pursue that shit minus anybody else being involved. Get other motherfuckers involved once you've got it established. You know what I'm saying? And if a motherfucker is just talking and they not producing, sidestep their ass and keep moving forward. You know what I mean? This is this goes out to all of, all of the young cats that I've met over the past couple of weeks who out there trying to do their thing. This is for all the people who I don't know who sub to my channel, 
who may have a banging ass idea and want to get that shit off the ground. Do that shit. Don't let nothing stop you. You only got one life to live, man. Make the most of that shit.